I've criticized Koei Tecmo quite a lot over the past couple of years. They had announced that Dead or Alive 6 was going to be delayed so that they could balance expressivity, and then not long after, they announced that Dead or Alive 6 would be censored. Yohai Shinbori actually did an interview before it launched and said how they toned down the game and specific outfits in it so they could be taking into consideration the perception of the game from their female audience's point of view. So they ended up toning down clothing destruction and also outfits in the game, which was pretty ridiculous in my opinion. It really sucked to hear that they were going to tone down the game to appeal more to females in gaming, or at least that was the excuse that they were using. And as a female who plays these games, you probably don't care if there's things like clothing destruction or not. Then in Dead or Alive 6, they started leaving out specific female outfits. They added pretty ridiculous microtransactions, and the Steam player numbers ended up being terrible. But now, Yohai Shimbori's actually leaving the franchise, which definitely wasn't news any of us were expecting to hear. Now, before we get into the article, if you like the content I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel to see my daily content, follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted, and if you really like the videos and live streams I create, consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month. All of the links are in the description, and I appreciate all of the support. So, Dead or Alive director Yohai Shimbori leaves Koei Tecmo. Gavin Moore becomes the latest to leave Sony Interactive Entertainment Japan studio. So, Dead or Alive series director Yohai Shimbori has revealed he has left Koei Tecmo after a period of 16 years working on the franchise. A short while later, Demon Souls remake director Gavin Moore revealed he's become the latest person to leave Sony Interactive Entertainment Japan studio the day before the studio had a major restructuring. Shimbori had worked on the Dead or Alive franchise since Dead or Alive Ultimate released in 2004, and he has been the series director from 2010's Dead or Alive Paradise all the way through until the release of Dead or Alive 6 in 2019. I'm actually pretty surprised to hear this. I mean, clearly, a lot of people are leaving Sony and are shifting their positions in the industry, but this franchise was his baby. He put years into this, so it's just really surprising to hear about. In a statement on Twitter, Shinbori didn't state whether he would remain in game development now that he has left Koei Tecmo. So, as of today, I have left Koei Tecmo Games. I worked on the Dead or Alive franchise for 16 years, and while there were times I was pleased, there were also times I wasn't able to live up to expectations. I would like to take this opportunity to express my utmost gratitude to the people who have supported and taken care of me, thank you very much. And now it says, on the same day, Puppeteer and Demon Souls remake director Gavin Moore became the third person known to leave Sony Interactive Entertainment Japan studio on March 31st alone, and then Gravity Rush's character designer had also left, who was the senior producer on a number of titles at the studio, also left the developer yesterday. Now, Yohai Shimbori had said back in 2019 that games that are too sexy aren't really accepted today, and he actually said that they weren't censoring their games because of Sony, but because they wanted to, and I was pretty critical of him back then, because if your studio really wanted to make a game with sexy characters or sexy outfits, you shouldn't be trying to please everyone. You shouldn't be listening to outraged people online who wouldn't even purchase your game in the first place. I don't actually disagree with those statements that he made, because it's kind of true. We see Sony and Valve and other companies not wanting to deal with games that have, you know, sexy characters, specifically ones coming straight out of Japan. So, of course, he was worried about the future of the industry, and he was the one to make all of those statements. He's always been the one to stick his neck out for the franchise because he was the director. So, we all kind of looked at Yohai Shimbori's statements and went, oh, okay, Dead or Alive is actually dead on arrival. It's a dead franchise now. But it does also sound like 
he did really love this franchise because he put so many years into it and i don't necessarily blame him for having to make those statements because he obviously was the director he was going to be of course the number one choice to make these statements he clearly knew that there was going to be a change going on in the industry and with what is and isn't accepted by companies but also sony specifically i mean sony's doing a massive restructuring right now and they've lost a lot of big names like the dark so i mean demon souls excuse me i always want to say dark souls the demon souls director a uh, gravity rush's character designer i mean the japanese side of the gaming industry is really changing and i wanted to quickly bring up this article Sony announces closure of Japan Studio will shift resources to global PlayStation Studios teams. So Sony has announced that their Tokyo-based Japan Studio, the in-house game development team responsible for titles such as Gravity Rush, Ape Escape, and The Last Guardian, will effectively shutter in favor of transferring the studio's resources to the PlayStation Studio brand's global functions. News of the studio shakeup was first broken by Video Game Chronicle on February 25th, when after speaking to several sources, the video game news outlet reported that the aptly named Japan Studio has seen the vast majority of its development staff let go after their annual contracts were not renewed ahead of the company's next business year. Later that same day, Sony confirmed that Japan Studio would be reorganized, writing in a statement given to IGN that in an effort to further strengthen business operations, SIE can confirm PlayStation Studios Japan Studio will be reorganized into a new organization on April 1st. Japan Studio will be recentered to Team ASOBI, the creative team behind Astro's Playroom, allowing the team to focus on a single vision and build to on the popularity of Astro's Playroom, read the statement. And in addition, the roles of external production, software localization, and IP management of Japan Studio titles will be concentrated within the global functions of the PlayStation Studios. Sony is clearly putting less of a focus on the Japanese market right now because they want to be a global company. They want to be known everywhere. And I think that they're um I think that they're hurting themselves quite a bit. I've talked about it in past videos, but a lot of Japanese players are currently pretty unhappy with Sony because they feel like Sony's abandoning their home market. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. It's a shame that Yohai Shimbori is leaving. I hope that this isn't the end for him because he has been the director of Dead or Alive for so long and he has made some great games i really hope that he stays in the development field for gaming i hope that he stays in the industry in one way or another but i guess we'll have to see but this is pretty surprising news to a lot of people so if you enjoyed this video and found it important and informative please make sure to give it a like share it and subscribe to the channel and of course if you did not make sure to give it a dislike i appreciate your support either way but i will talk to you all again in the next video video really soon.